this is Nina here with Heroes of Art Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Today we are in week nine. We're going to be talking about reasons that we know that animals are living things. Let's open up with the word of prayer and get right into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Up to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Great work. So today we're talking about reasons we know that animals are living things. Um, the very first, if you recall, we actually talked about this uh, quite extensively two weeks ago in our lesson about plants being considered as living things. We talked about the eight criteria that the plant had to meet in order to be proven or to be considered alive. And we're going to show in today's lesson how animals uh, also meet this criteria for being considered a living thing, okay? So the very first thing we're going to talk about is movement. Animals move. Have you ever seen a, an, uh, a dog jump or a kitty cat meow? Or have you ever seen a, a leopard, well, maybe you've never seen a leopard run, but have you ever seen, um, you know, a bunny rabbit hop or something like that? That is the movement of the typical animal. I know you may have seen ants outside crawling around and, and um, Perhaps you'd see a toad or a frog or something like that. Animals move. So that's one way we know that they're alive. We can put a check mark here. Animals move. Okay, so they meet that criteria. What about respire? Animals respire as well. Respiration. They breathe. They inhale and exhale through their nose. <sighs> yes, animals respire. They inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Another way we know that animals are living is that they feed. They have nutrition. They eat, uh, cows will eat grass and they'll be very happy with grass while other animals may eat on flesh. You have, let's take the cat family for example, you have the lion and tiger who will eat a, a deer, which is a flesh. And you have the kitty cat who will still eat flesh, but since it's a tamed beast, it's not a wild beast like the lion, it's tamed so it will wait gently on its master to provide it with a meat of its preference. So oftentimes you'll give the kitty cat tuna or something like that, tuna or sardines or something like that. And so animals feed. Also irritability, animals can react to their environment, especially if there's danger in their environment. Uh, if you see a mouse, and it's being chased by a kid, by a snake, the mouse is gonna run really fast. Or if the mouse is being chased by a cat, um, you may see the, the, the mouse just run as fast as, as it can away from danger. So they do have a sense of irritability and they do have that, um, that, that emotion in them that tells them to run, danger is near. And also growth, animals grow. Have you ever seen an egg? Did you ever see the egg hatch to become a chicken or become a, a baby chicken and the chick grow and, and become a, a full hen? Yes, yeah, some, some of us have watched that process or maybe you've seen a, uh, a female dog give birth to babies and maybe you've had a chance to take one home or something like that. Dogs do grow from infancy into adulthood. Excretion, animals do pass waste. Whenever they eat, they have a... Um, Biological processes very similar to ours. They have digestive systems, which means that as they consume food, they'll process it and they will pass waste as well. Um, animals reproduce, which means they have young, they have babies, very um, similar to what humans do. Humans have uh, married mommies and daddies can have babies and um, reproduce. Animals can do the same exact thing. They have, uh, whether it's a dog or a cat or whatever it is, it can um, reproduce after its own kind, so that's really nice. So, animals reproduce, they have babies. Finally, animals do experience death. The Bible says it is um, um, given for once for every man to, to die and then the judgment. In the same way that humans must live, you know, be born, live life, and then die, um, animals also are born and they live life and they die. There's a scripture somewhere in 1 Corinthians 15 that says God has given, uh, you know, different types of flesh to the his creation. He have the beasts have one flesh, a human has another type of flesh. So uh, all of us are covered in flesh, but.
but uh, we just perform differently. We have different duties. And so our job is to find out what that duty is and to perform it well before, before God. But most is, uh, especially the topic of today is just for you to know that animals are alive and they perform the full process, the full uh, eight major uh, elements or the criteria that humans have set to uh, confirm or to have an animal or plant or something considered alive. So animals have movement, they respire, they feed, they are irritable, they can become irritable, they grow, they excrete, they reproduce, and they die. That's all I have for you today, boys and girls. Thank you so much for coming to class for being a part of today's lesson. But until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you